So this is my tutorial for Beside You by Keshi. Yeah, so let's just get into it. This is um, tuned to standard EADGBE, capo on the fifth fret. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we're gonna start with the chord progression. It's F, E minor, A minor, and D7. Before I get into the tabs, I also just wanted to say um, that I'll just call these frets like for example this one will call this the first fret second fret third fret obviously this is the sixth seventh and eighth but yeah it's gonna be easier for me because <laughs> there's a capo here okay so we'll start with the f chord that's the first part of the riff it revolves around this chord shape so i put my finger on the fifth string third fret middle finger on the fourth string second fret and then the third and second strings i leave open and we're gonna play it like this from the fifth to the second string just going down in order so that's the first four notes and then we put our pinky on the second string third fret after playing those four that's the fifth note and then we play the open third string so that's the last note of the first chord so all together slowly it's all right next chord is an e minor it revolves around pretty much this shape it's like this shape essentially but i simplified it to this this is because this is all we're gonna play so i'll just teach you the shape first it's pointer on the fifth string second fret middle finger on the first string, second fret, ring finger on the second string, third fret. After the F, we're gonna play it like this. Fifth and first, we play at the same time. And then the second string. We open second and fourth string, and we play it. And then we take our middle finger to press the third string second fret. So all together slowly it's Alright. So for the A minor, just completely open. You don't have to press anything. So that's pretty easy to remember. After the E minor, we play sixth and third string together. And then fourth string all the way to second string in order and then finally we put well any finger you want really on the second string third fret and then we play the third string open so together slowly it's So after the A minor, we play D7. It looks like this. How I play it is open on the fifth. And then press the fourth string, second fret. I use my middle finger for this one. Then open on the third string. And then with my ring finger, um, press the second string, second fret. That's what it sounds like. So after the A minor, you just play 5th string to 2nd string in order again. And then we release our 2nd string, play it open. And then after that, we play the open 3rd string. So together slowly, it's... Alright. 
So all together, I'm going to play it slowly. So this next part of the tutorial is basically my own arrangement. It's not part of the original song or anything, but if you wanted to learn it, you know, I'm just going to break it down anyway. So pretty much just remember the shapes that I taught earlier in the video. Um, this is going to be a little variation and I'm adding essentially the melody of the vocals and the chorus. Um, I'm integrating it with those chords. So yeah, this is how I played it. So F chord, instead of basing this part around this shape, I remove my middle finger this time. So most of the chord is based around just me pressing my ring finger on the fifth string, third fret, and then the fourth to second strings are just open. All right, so going into the first part, I play fifth string, then 4th string, and then I press my middle finger on the 3rd string, 2nd fret. Now I know I said that I based this part on just this shape, but the reason why I'm pressing here with my middle finger is because this is what's playing the lead line. So 5th, 4th, 3rd, and then I open it. And I play it. And then I play open fourth and third. That's it. Um, I'll play it all together slowly. And from there we shift to the E minor. Just move this to here, essentially. I use my pointer to press the fifth string second fret. And it pretty much just do the same thing. So if we're coming from F, it goes like this, right? And the E minor, release your ring finger, add your pointer finger, and do the same plucking pattern. But we leave out the last two notes. So it's just fifth, fourth, third, and then release the third. Sorry, and then we release the third. So the F and the E minor sounds like this. Then with the A minor, again, no pressing anything really, except for the middle finger, we essentially do the same thing. So if our F looked like this and our E minor looked like this, our A minor just looks like this. So this is how you play it. Open, sixth, then fourth, then the third string, which is what your middle finger is pressing. Release your middle finger and play it. And then fourth and third. So sounds like this. Now finally, with our D7, again, the same idea, except this time we press, um, we use our pointer finger to press the 4th string, 2nd fret. Alright, so this is how we play it, so from the 5th string, 4th string, 3rd, release the 3rd again, like usual. And then, this is where it differs from the other chords, we now play the second string at the end. And then from there, we transition to our F chord again. But I'll play the D7 first slowly. It's
So I'll play the entire first part all together slowly. So the second part, we now play the F again. So fret the fifth string, third fret, and then we play that with the second string that's open together. And then with our, I use my pointer finger, we press third string, second fret. So press and then play, and then release and play, and press again and play. So that's what the F will sound like at this part. So I'll play it slowly. All right, so then after that, we play the E minor. So press the fifth string, second fret, and that's pretty much it, really. So for this part, I just press, I, I just play the fifth string and then the open second string. And then with the fourth and then third string, I hammer on on the second fret. So I play open first and then hammer on the second fret. So that's what that sounds like. And then I do the same for the third string. So that's what that sounds like. So all together, something like that. And then for the e, A minor and D7, I just play the same exact way as the main riff because this part has no more vocals. It sounds like this. All right, so I'm gonna play the entire thing slowly with the, the main riff plus the chorus vocal melody line. Alright, so that's it. Thanks for watching. If you found that helpful, please like and subscribe. Um, yeah, thank you.